Hey guys, I thought I'd uh, do a quick update on uh, games in the house. It's been a little while and we talked a little bit uh, over the weekend about some of the new stuff I'd purchased in the kind of extended uh, online conversation that we had in a, in a Google Hangout, which is similar to Skype, except it's a video chat and you can have uh, you know multiple people in it. So we had six or seven folks participating, I think, and uh, a handful of other people uh, listening in or uh, posting questions, which was nice. So appreciate everyone uh, participating in that, uh, particularly Todd and Mamie and Casino, because they were the ones that provided 90% of the con content. Right, so uh, first things first, Game On. I'm headed to Game On this week. I'm pretty excited about it. I'm going to play, uh, if it all works out, I'm going to play a boatload of games, and in particular, play some games that I've, not, I've only played solo and have... Uh, either sold or uh, have, am planning to sell or I'm not happy with. And uh, the first title that I'll have a chance to play will be the uh, Hannibal vs. Rome uh, scenario that uh, Simonich uh, designed and I'll get to uh, meet him as well. I'll be interviewing him uh, this week on Thursday night I think it is. So I'm going to play that game. Uh, we're going to uh, <laughs> play some Combat Commander. I'm going to get at least one session of that in. Um, play that Oppose. I found playing a solo it was fun if the scenarios were small enough, but after a while it became a lot of uh, card flicking, which reminds me I need to uh, I need to get my play summary out and check the rules on that again so that I'm at least competent to play that. So there's that. Play some Hunters. When uh, I get there, there's a tournament to be running. I'll get to get a run through on that guy. I'm um, in two minds about that game at the moment. I'm excited about it from the story perspective, the narrative, but uh, to me, it's gonna, I think it's going to be similar to B-17, Queen of the Skies, and the RAF Battle of Britain game where you know, you're know you really playing against the charts and, and the dice are doing the deal instead of you making decisions. So we'll see. We'll, we'll see. Uh, I'm hoping that I like it because I, I have a really, I think, have some fun ideas on how I'd like to present uh, the gameplay. So... Uh, That'd be good fun for recording video and things. Um, what else am I going to play there? Well, I'm playing uh, The East is Red. Alan Snyder and I are going to play this SBI title. He's got an unpunched copy. We're going to play that. Obviously, I'll be playing Lock and Load. Um, we're going to play a Heroes game of that, where you all grab a hero each and run around the board and kill each other. That sounds like a bunch of fun with uh, uh, weapons, caches, and uh, healing stations and things like that. That's going to be a 10-player game of Madness. The uh, Obviously, the LNL tournament, and then there's a World of War tournament. I'll be playing in that as well. We've got a four-player game of uh, three hours set aside to play a four-player 25-turn um, game of Panzer, so I'm excited to play that face-to-face -face opposed. I've only done that one time on Vassal, and it was a lot of fun with Pete Gate. And I've played five or six times now by myself and enjoyed it a lot. Still don't like the sequence of play, even with the new rules, but it's it's worth it despite that. Uh, OCS, uh, the Blitzkrieg Legend, is going to be played, and I've, I've been given special permission to uh, uh, play that game, come in and uh, duck out as I need to, given that I'm helping with one of the 20s there. Uh, so I'm excited to play that. Uh, hopefully we'll uh, get to learn a little bit more about how to play defense better in OCS with some of the guys that hopefully will be experienced. I know Art, uh, who's uh, running that, is uh, experienced with it. Battle for Normandy is uh, going to be there, and on the strength of that, I didn't buy it because of that, but I found a copy of the Battle for Normandy, unpunched, got a sweet deal on this. I'm not going to tell you how much, because, you know, I may sell it one day, and you'll know. But you'll forget. 80 bucks. Um, Road to Moscow. Uh, I got this for Christmas. I think you've seen this. I picked up three titles that uh, I need for my... So I guess we've moved off game on, and what I'm playing there, right? Uh, I have some other things I'm playing, but uh, I'll... I can't remember them right now. Uh, oh, there's a huge game of uh, the Clash of Arms, uh, Battle of Leipzig. I really want to see that and take pictures, and hopefully the guys will let me do that there. That'll be cool. Uh, I know that people are going to be playing, um, I think, Breaking of the Chains, possibly. Oh, that's another game. Oh, yeah. Uh, anyway, I'll slow down. I'll tell you in a second. Uh, I picked up Operation Grenade 
off a BGG auction for five bucks, and uh, I need this for one of the uh, scenarios for my chronological walkthrough of World War II. You never have enough paratroop scenarios, so hey, you know, I got this, I think it's good. It covers Crete, so that'll be nice. We can kind of tie that into the DAC 2 play because there was uh, an element of Crete being. Um, subjugated as uh, as part of the the game scenario and then the battle for casino this is really a fondness thing i had this game a long time ago and uh, i still have one of the line of sight charts from it <laughs> that's the only thing that's left and as soon as i opened up the map i was like oh yeah I this game cool so i'm gonna play that and we'll add that into the chronology i did a trade with a buddy of mine with todd Bo uh, todd <laughs> with scott uh, Bogan, who runs the game show, um, the board game show uh, podcast, and it's more of a Eurocentric uh, gaming podcast. But I've done a couple of little segments for him on board gaming, uh, war gaming, and I've tried to do simpler stuff that's more introductory. And I think people are kind of liking it a bit. I don't know. Go listen to me if I crap on too much. Uh, so the Dark Valley, I've been playing that and I had a lot of comments from people both on my YouTube channel and on my blog. Uh, like, so, oh man, it looks like you really love that game. And well, no, I don't. I don't love it. Um, I like it and it's interesting. And I haven't finished a game yet, so I don't know if it, you know, works, right? Um, you know, it's some playtesting folks have said, oh, hey, you know, uh, it's unbalanced or whatever, and uh, it's too easy for the Soviets to win. And I've had some other people say it's too easy for the Soviets to win. But uh, my and my playing right now is uh, I'm playing the Barbarossa scenario. And I'm on the end of turn four, beginning the start of turn five. And Germans are not going to get to Moscow, which is, you know, historically accurate. But they're off by a long ways, I think. Um, yeah, the... Uh, the uh, combat results table is pretty deadly for attacking. So uh, it's good for the Soviets to sit back and, and relax and, and, and take it as best they can and then uh, wait till they get some two-step units and start uh, counter-attacking by the looks of it. I like the game, like the map. Uh, I like the old school counters. Uh, the, the artwork is good. The rules could use some uh, polishing and refining. It looks like it's been play-tested with buddies, not with uh, people who have not played games or played East Front stuff before or who haven't played uh, Racius games before. It really needs a good polish up. There's some ambiguities and some things that are unclear. And I find myself looking at the rules a lot and I'm on the fourth turn and every turn has 10 chip pulls or eight chip pulls. And so really it, the rules could have been a lot tighter. I end up writing my own summary out. And, and the setup for the first, for the Barbarossa, don't do it. I posted a little chart. You need to go get that little chart and download it and use that if you're going to play. You don't need to have the 172nd Infantry Corps Army or whatever in the right spot. Is it? So they're all 1-1 one, one units or 1-4 units or 2-4 units or whatever they are. Just put them, put them somewhere, unless you're one of those guys that needs to do that. Uh, the Moscow campaign, speaking of Moscow, right? So uh, this, is, uh, this is a $50 title in a flat tray. And... Uh, a second hand, and I got my five bucks, and it's uh, worth every penny of five bucks. All the backs of the counters came off, and there's nothing on the backs of the counters, but now it's kind of raw cardboard, and it's kind of sad, but I'm going to play it and try it. This came in the mail. I forgot I ordered this freaking thing, and uh, the map looks really nice. I'm surprised. I saw these pictures online. It's like, it doesn't look good. Really good. Like the artwork on the counters. They're, they're kind of... Um, abstracted uh, silhouettes of uh, the weapon platforms as opposed to trying to be these super detailed high art uh, things. I, I, I like it. Bright, clear, crisp colors and fonts. Uh, rule books in black and white. Mm, you know, the only reason I really uh, am fussed about that is because there's a full color brochure for advertising all the other games in there. Really? I mean, put the money into the freaking game and I'll buy more games. Don't give me a color brochure. I don't give a shit about your brochure. Don't send me brochures in your thing. I can go to your website. Save your money. Uh, Todd sent me this. I've yet to play it. I'm about to bust it out pretty soon. And then the, uh, the big bad boy, you know, the last chance of victory. I've read the rules and oh man, I'm really, really excited.
excited about playing this because the, only because I think it's a, a system that while it's in a annoyingly detailed and granular level of 15 minute turns and um, like 150 yards, 150 meters per hex or something crazy like that, uh, the rules are really good and really crisp and it gets me excited about the potential for the Napoleonic Brigade system. If the rules re rewrite that was done here, the 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 kind of um, redo of the regimental system or whatever it is, I get confused with all their the different systems they have over there at the gamers. Uh, but if this is uh, as good as I think it will be, and if the uh, Napoleonic Brigade system is done to the same level of detail and attention, we're going to have us the bet, one of the better um, Napoleonic systems around. I haven't played Clash of Arms and all that, so that's me talking out my ass. But from what I've played so far of, of half a dozen different game systems, um, uh, NBS was good anyway. And if it has a clarity and crispness and clean playing that this has, this is sucking huge amounts of work, uh, paperwork and all the rest of it, out of the game and making... Uh, the American Civil War much more approachable than a lot of the other titles I've, I've seen but have not played. That's all the new stuff in the house, I think. That's everything. And I still can't remember the rest of the stuff I'm going to play. Red Winter. I'm going to play Red Winter. I'm going to see a demo of Operation Dauntless at Game On in Seattle. It's all happening in Seattle. Let me tell you, it's crazy. Um, and that football team, the Seahawk guys, they won, so everyone will be happy up there. Uh, Maybe there will be sunshine, who knows? So, uh, Wednesday, uh, two days from now, I will be on a plane, and at 10.30 in the morning, uh, I will be uh, hitting, the, hitting the ground in Seattle, and I will be looking forward to uh, kicking off uh, my gaming experiences the following day. Uh, Wednesday, I'm going to be having some meetings with uh, Mark Walker and the new owners of Lock and Load, and trying to catch up with some of the other designer guys that are in town. Going to catch up and have a drink with Ralph Shelt, uh, Shelton as well. And of course Jeff Newell, uh, he and I are going to go uh, grab a steak and uh, enjoy some food and wine. So it'll be fun and I will uh, report back. I'm actually going to try and report live-ish, you know. And Mamie and I will get together. We're going to be side by side and do a little video broadcast of some sort, somehow, somewhere, with a phone or a camera or something. I don't know. I'm not sure how much camera gear I want to take with me. But that's the <clears throat> that's a rambling update later.